What is up, YouTube? This is Michael, or Mr. Michael Fluff, and um, today I'm going to be posting a video about how to get um, better scores in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, first off, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a lot of content lately. Um, I've been at my dad's house, and he just doesn't have an HDTV, and at my mom's house I do, and the Game Capture HD only uses HDMI. So, I can't really use it at my dad's house, so whenever I'm, I'm at my dad's house, you, I, you guys won't be seeing a lot of content from me, but right now I do, and you guys will see, see more throughout a few days, so let's get into it. First off, how to get better scores, you want to use Ghost. Now, Ghost is really important because you stay off the enemy radar while running, and um, in Call of Duty Black Ops 2, a lot of people are using... Well, UAVs because it only takes like 400, 400 points to get it, and it's really useful. So Ghost will keep you off the radar, and along with the help of Silencer, it, it is actually really useful, and you guys can get really good scores. Um, second off, you want to you go for the objective a lot. The objective helps you get score streaks so much faster because score when you're playing domination, say say you get eight captures and twenty kills, and another person gets like thirty kills and like two captures. You guys will pretty much have the same exact score, but only because you went for the objective and he didn't, and you guys will have probably the same. Kill streaks and it's just really, really helpful for you to go for the objective. So, third, you really want to use flanks. Now, flanks help you get around the enemy a lot easier because a, when you're using flanks, not a lot of people are supposed to go there, and uh, it just helps you win gun battles and get around the enemy. So, just always try to use uh, the flanks as much as possible. Next. You want to use cover. Cover helps you control the engagement a lot better because your enemy can only see about a fourth of your body while you can see his full body, which gives you a, a really big advantage when um, you're in close range or even long range battles. Uh, especially, you should use kill streaks that you know you can get. Like, say, say there's like a level 20 guy and he's using. For example, stealth chopper, dogs, and swarm. That's that's just not. It's it's not reasonable. You need to use if you're that low of a kill streak or that low of a level. You need to use a lot lower kill streak. Like it, even in this game, I'm using UAV, hunter killer, and lightning strike. It's fine for me because I know I can get those kill streaks really easy in a close range battle. And as you can see, it worked out for me. Um, next, use strafing as much as possible. Strafing is when you, like, are aiming while going, like, around corners or walking around the map. Um, this helps you a lot because you you get the advantage when while you're aiming, and the other and the opponent has to still aim while while you're already aiming. So you'll you'll pretty much win every gunfight if you use strafing around corners and stuff. So that's really helpful. Um, drone another, the, the last big thing is, you really just want to try to have fun with this. Now, sometimes I play in like game battles and stuff, <laughs> and you, you, you have to try as hard as possible, and it sometimes it just doesn't get that fun, so just try to have as much fun as possible, and you'll see it helps you do a lot better, and there's my score, um, yeah, 63 and 10, so it's a good gameplay, and I will see you guys later. This is Michael, or Mr. Michael Fluff, 